we currently have officers in, in different parts of, of the world. Um, we have in, in South America, uh, we currently have officers in Guyana, at Guyana University, uh, working at, at postgraduate level. We have officers in Mexico doing training um, in the medical field and at the academy as well. Um, now these are long-term investments. Uh, for example, the officers in, in Mexico um, will not be coming back into Belize until five years from now. Um, so the Coast Guard will be able to expand its, its medical capacity in-house, but at the same time will be able to do more for the country. Uh, so we, we have a good mix of, of um, officers in Mexico, but also in Taiwan. We currently have uh, six officers in Taiwan. Um, we have four officer cadets that are going through the academy, the Naval Academy in Taiwan. Yeah, again, they will return over a period of time. Um, the first one is due back in Belize in two years' time. Um, and then thereafter, one year, every, every year, one officer will be returning. Um, Lieutenant Commander Alma Pinello is also in Taiwan. She has been there for almost a year and a half now doing senior staff training. Uh, she returns sometime in August or September of this year. And also our Vice Commandant, Captain Gregory Soberan, is there in Taiwan doing advanced studies um, in, in um, national development. Um, so again, um, all different levels in Taiwan uh, where we are um, seeking opportunities to expand our capacity and of course look after the needs of the organization well into the future.